all you lovely people. Rajni from Sasha Empowering Lives. So, continuing in this series of videos uh, in our premium channel. Today, I'm going to be taking up the math concepts. So, in the previous two videos, you saw we did alphabet recognition, phonetic sounds. We did early um, concepts, near, far, tall, short. So, today we're going to be starting with, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, number value. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you various ways that you can do number value. Number value is something that you should be doing on a multi-sensorial basis because it is very important that the child understands that the number value is quantity. What we generally do, this is a mistake that we generally do. Okay, I'm going to be showing you on the board. You know, we give worksheets like these. So what we will do, there will be a worksheet or we will probably prepare one or we'll give a book or whatever and we will say okay beta count and write how many and then we'll give a pen or something and we the kid has learned to road count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so kid will go one two three four and say okay write here four yeah this is how we teach children unfortunately what happens is when we do stuff like this and we give worksheets or whatever we do. The kid does not understand that these were four quantities. These are four in number. Okay. What the kid figures out is this, this flower. The first flower is called one. The second flower is called two. The third flower is called three. And the last flower is called four. Okay. So and, and then you have to write the name of the last flower. As a quantity, they don't get it, get it that how much is four? And why is that very harmful for a kid? Because quantity or value estimation is the base for math. What is addition? Increase in value. So if I don't understand these many are 4. How will I understand that 4 has now become 5? Because these many have added something. Increase the quantity now it has become 5. The kid will not get it. And that is why parents say that it is so difficult to teach addition. He is not getting addition. He is not getting subtraction. Because subtraction is a reduction in value. Now when the kid doesn't understand value, how will the kid understand addition in value, reduction in value? It doesn't work. So what we are going to do? Today I am going to show you certain things in the books. Okay, You can prepare things like these. These are very effective. These are extremely effective tabletop uh, you know resources but trying only tabletop is not a good idea so i'll give you some more ideas so what we are going to do we are going to do multi sensorial what does that mean multi sensorial we are going to involve the full body of the kid in the learning process we are going to involve all the eight seven senses eighth one of course interoception you can't involve but all the seven senses five senses we all know and then proprioception and vestibular sense so we're going to involve all senses yeah so you might be wondering how come vestibular sense yeah so if you have a beam balance so you can make the kid say uh, balance seven times one two three four five six seven jump so, you are going to use various, various methods. Okay, now learning happens according to Howard Gardner's theory. Learning will happen in uh, seven ways. Yeah, so one is visual, which is what mostly happens in schools. So, like you, I'm, I'm showing you this. Okay, yeah, so you're learning. One is auditory, I'm speaking, you're learning. Yeah, which is again chalk and talk in the school. Yeah, one is music. So, then what happens is when you add you know, you, you are teaching B I N G O B I N G O. So that's a way of doing the spelling. So you're using music, you jump in. Another one is uh, Montessori. So you're giving clay, you're giving manipulatives, which is what I'm going to show you. So we are going to do multisensorial means we're going to use all of this. So we're going to be talking, we are going to be talking so they can hear, we are going to be showing. Uh, they will just pass me the manipulators. Yeah, give me uh, the stickers and some other things, the clay, so I can give an idea. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, we are going to be doing, uh, so the other one is Montessori, hands-on, so you are giving clay. 
So beyond that, the next one is your uh, kinesthetic full body. So we will draw on the floor and we will make the kid, uh, you know, okay, jump five times or clap, uh, you know, these many times or, uh, you know, go and touch the balloon four times or something where the whole body is involved, okay. Then, uh, then there is spatial, not special, spatial, S-P-A-T-I-A-L space related so we will take the kid on the stairs and say go four stairs up one two three and four yes so we can take to the park and say okay collect four big leaves so you are spreading it out in space so that the kid because whatever is your child's special you know specific learning style when you're doing it multi-sensorially you're doing it in all the seven given senses then it is very easy for the kid to learn because somewhere or the other he will pick it up. If you simply stick to, you know, the paper and the copy and you start teaching like that, if that is your kid's specific learning style, great. But that's a lottery. And if that is not your kid's specific learning style, then you're in trouble. Then you're trying next two years and saying that I'm facing a lot of difficulty. My kid does not do mathematics or English or sound joining or is not clear on the value. I have had students where we have cleared value in one session but that was a jackpot because we hit and it was all blessing of God Almighty that the first style we tried the kid got it. Yeah so we tried with colors we tried so those are things you can do. You can dip the child's you know finger in paint and then you can give a paper and then you know you can say okay make four flowers so the kid has to just put one two three four and then you will draw around it and you make a flower yeah so like this so you will use various methods you will try multi-sensorial approaches please do not start with that the you know one two three four okay this is four they will not get it okay so in the house you can say pick up three tomatoes from the fridge yeah you can say another thing when we are doing a worksheet like that one two three four generally what happens is a worksheet will have nine four three one six two all mixed up Are as it is the kid is not getting the quantity now you have also jumbled it up so what is a better thing to do a better thing to do is to get some potatoes from the kitchen or anything. I mean, potatoes is not... Rajni saying potato, I only will do with potato. No potato, I will not work. No, not like that. Yeah. So get anything like XYZ, potato, tomato, grapes, whatever. And put one number here. So let us say, if we are teaching, so we will always teach one and two together. Okay. Why? Because if you only do one, then they are confused whether this is a cup or this is one yeah because you're saying one yeah so one cup and the minute you will put here and i'm saying practical okay so i'm drawing right in front of you but you will not draw you will take practical things okay so so it's like one cup two cups so you will do one and two together so uh, like i will just show you with these manipulatives so if when you're doing one and two with the kid, you will do it like this. So these are, and they're same, 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 okay, the rubbers. So I, I will tilt the board so you can see how it is because if I keep it flat down, I don't know if you can see. And if I put it straight, then it might fall. Yeah, so one pink eraser, then one, two, two pink erasers. Now we got lots of different colored erasers so you could do it like this with it you could do it in copy with stickers i'll give you various various ideas uh, you could even do it with a karela yeah bitter good take one bitter good cut it in between it will become like a hexagon shape hexagon hota hai pentagon hota hai karela pata nahi shayad hexagon hota hai aisa shape nikal aayega cut ke yeah it, you will cut it and then you can dip it in paint and then you can do block printing types. One, one, two. Okay, like this. So first you initially start with one, one, two. You can do it with bindi also, okra. Then you can do it with puppets. So you can say one boy and 
two boys. Yeah. Oh, I didn't pick up another boy. The more puppets in there, but for uh, saving time, assume that, and, and you will not do two girls, okay? So assume this is also a boy, okay? Just assume. So, because I'll have to pick up from there, that will waste time. So one boy and two, one boy and two boys. So let them see what does it mean for something to be two, okay? One sticker, okay? So if suppose you're, you're, you're using this sheet. Then don't put one red here and two pinks here or pink and green here. No. So one red and two reds. Like this, let them understand. Yeah, so there's a boy here. One boy and two boys. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you will do with various, various things. When the kid is very clear. Yeah. What of one and two. Only then you will go to now these are because we are doing multi-sensorially so these are Montessori various techniques jumping here and there going to the park and learning yeah doing things uh, even so much so Montessori you are making roti so you will say give me one peda okay so he pinch out that atta and give you now give me two pedas for two rotis so he'll pinch out two and give you like you support so when the kid knows one and two is when you go to three so on the tabletop this is how you can do this is a very uh, systematic way uh, and my book has got a new shape thank you to divya she's put in the effort and got so many of these here yeah uh, so because uh, repeated use and my stickers had worn out so we created more ones so we do one so what uh, a good idea to structure it would be like this is it visible there one two one two three four five six one two three four five and six yeah so you can say pick one star yeah one star but please remember that once you are done with this sheet then you have to go to two also so that because okay one star now you can say Pick two stars, two stars. So you go one. So this is laminated. We have laminated A4 sheets. We have made a spiral bound. We have laminated. We put the blue tag. So it is one and two, two stars. And then you go back. Okay, now pick one balloon. Then pick two balloons. So you have a circle here. So the kid is picking. Okay. Another thing you can do. If your kid will be distracted by going here and here, then you can write here a two also and draw a line. So one and two, just like I showed you here. So either of those is possible. Now, this booklet is a very good resource. It can be used for your addition also, subtraction also. I will cover that, all of that, because then the length of the video will be very, very long. So I'll cover that in the next topic, how you can do it, you know, ascending, descending, the greater number, smaller number, you know, you can create this resource and it can really help you and how you can do addition, subtraction with these booklets. Uh, yeah, uh, so, so it's like one, two and uh, so what we have done is we have just taken multiple pictures, like just downloaded a picture, then copy paste, copy paste, then taken it on a paper, taken a print, cut it, laminated it, put a blue tag and fixed it here and it is ready. So three dogs. So after one and two, now you will go single single page. Three. One, two, three. And put a circle there. Yeah. Similarly here with these three girls with the puppets. So three boys, rubber bands, a kira, tomato, apple, whatever, whatever. So like this, you are going to be doing value count. Please remember, unless your kid has a proper value count, which means what? Which means the following. You say, put five rubbers. Okay, now I'm showing you a typical reaction of a kid. So, uh, you say, sup suppose, you know, and, and we will not give a double like this for the kid to be distracted. We will keep, uh, you know, same colored rubbers. Is it visible there? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, same colored rubbers for the kid. To, and another thing, never put... If you want five and you keep five here, then it's a pick and put activity. If you want five and you keep six here, then I'll share a very interesting thing that happened with me. I thought my son had value count till nine and ten. 
He only had value count 1. Okay. Because he knew whatever is kept, leave 1 behind and put everything there. And once by mistake and that mistake was divinely orchestrated because God wanted me to see what stupidity I was doing. And so I had to pick up 9 and I kept 10. And the value count was 8. And he's doing everything correct but only with 8, he's doing a mistake. He is picking up 9 every time. I said, why is he doing it? And then it striked me. Is he even counting those? Let me try with a smaller number. My heart sank. But I was so scared and I tried and to my horror, my son had value count of 1. So he understood whatever she says, put it away, only 1 should be left. So when there were 10, he put away 9. He didn't know it. Then I had to restart from the beginning. So don't do that mistake. So when you're putting them together, have five. If you want three, um, have them eight. If you want, you know, four. So mix it so that they never get a pattern that how much is left behind. Okay. So then a good way to test if your kid has got it or not. First of all, please write down, you know, so that the kid has a visual also. So you say, okay, give me five. So like as I said here, five. Yeah, I will show. Yeah. Uh, so give me five. And you've made a, um, you know, you've made a circle kind of a thing over there. Yeah. As I say, put five here. Okay. I'm lifting it. You don't have to when you're working with the kid so that you can see in the camera. So five, put five here. Now you leave it for the kid. So the kid goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Looks at your face. And you say, Beta, they ko, galti ki hai. Blah, 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 blah. Please understand the kid doesn't have value. All of your blah, blah is not going to end. Yeah? Then go down to four. Say, put four. Then go down to three. See, where is the value count? What is qualified as value count yes what is qualified now look at the kids specific reaction i can actually live an autistic kid's life because i've worked so much with children i know how they want to so a kid who knows the value of five and it is time for you to go to six this is how the kid will respond you say put five he will look at you one two i'm done <laughs> three four he may not even look at you five nursery rhyme he's singing whatever he is doing he is not putting here that is when you know if you have to do beta galti kar rahe ho, dekho, then the kid does not know stop wasting that energy go back to teaching the value count now when my student has value count like this smooth crisp clear you know it's there yeah then you go to six only then you go to six so same rule First you do one and two together, then you go to three alone, then you go to four alone until you reach ten. When you reach ten, you don't go eleven, twelve, you, you halt for a while and you go for the first step of addition which is one more because now they know the value which is what I will take up in the next video. So for this week, all of you who are struggling with value count, please teach your child how to do value count like this. Main skill